So this is a review for the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation in Fair and the Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder. It's going to do a demo now of how I apply the foundation and then I'll come back and actually give you a review of the product. So I've already applied some Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer and I just use one pump of this and then I rub it all over my face and then I like to leave it you know sort of to sit a minute so I'll go and wash it off my hands because it's a bit silicone and you can feel it in your fingers and stuff so I'll go and wash that off while I let it set the next thing I do is I use an hourglass concealer it's a concealer stick and it's in hidden pearl so it's just a concealer stick and I think it is one of the lightest shades and I just apply this um, just underneath my eyes just to brighten them a wee bit because they are a wee bit dark and I prefer to put it on before I put on the powder so I just apply a wee bit in the inner corners and down a wee bit and then using your fingers just to warm it up I just so I'm just using the mirror behind in case you're wondering where I'm looking I wasn't fussed on this concealer when I first got it but it seems to be okay for under my eyes then I take my Bare Minerals matte foundation and I have this in fair which is the lightest shade um, in the matte foundations so it's quite light and I just dust a bit off into the lid and using this is a Bare Minerals full flawless face brush and you just swirl it and then tap off the excess just back into the lid and with the matte foundation you do have to really really buff it in so I sort of start at the centre of my face and work my way around now I've been using this for at least a sort of about a week anyway and I don't know if you can see as well but my skin uh, these are just scars these aren't actually spots so my skin's actually clearing up these are fading at the minute so they're not spots but and I've no more this is the only sort of spot and it's in the way out as well it's almost gone actually so my skin has definitely improved from using um, a liquid foundation I think my skin was just getting a bit clogged so and I like the matte foundation because my skin has become slightly more oily so it has actually you know helped cover a bit of a few of the spots but I just tap a wee bit more right into the lid and then I'm taking this max coverage concealer brush and I absolutely love this brush one of the best concealer brushes for you know powder concealers and stuff it's just brilliant I'm gonna dab this around my nose and just onto the spotty bits the scarring I should say I forgot how much I love these, the, the foundation, the fact that you can use it as a concealer and you know it's got really really good coverage, you can build it up. So I just take a wee tiny bit left in the lid and I'm just going to use my foundation brush again and just buff that all over everything to make sure there's no, there's no lines or tight lines. And if you do use this brush you don't press hard onto your face otherwise you'll break the bristles so you just lightly it's quite good because it stops you really really force it onto your skin you just lightly buff it in and as i said with this foundation you do want to really give it a really good working into your skin so that's the foundation applied i'm then going to take the well rested and i got the powder version of this because i had read some reviews and i don't think the liquid version got um, as many good reviews as the powder version and also I do actually have a liquid highlighter I've got the YSL liquid version so I thought I'd try this one and you only need a really small amount and I'm using a Real Techniques pointed foundation brush but it's quite small so I just use it to go in around my eyes and I've been really enjoying using this because it really really does um, lighten around my eyes so if I go in you can sort of see some of the darkness is still there and this just acts as a highlight there's not loads of coverage with it you know you can't really use it as a concealer I don't think you can just bring it in around your nose area 
in around your nose area, in around your tear duct area and just brighten that. I don't know if you can see a massive difference on camera, I'm trying to just see in the viewfinder, but definitely it is very noticeable. And that just helps to set your concealer as well. So, so I applied the concealer just to hide the darkness and then I apply this just to lighten the area. So that's how I apply my Bare Minerals foundation. I'm just going to leave my hairband in. Um, I'll come back in a few minutes just to talk, give the products a wee review. So back in a minute. So um, as you can see, it applies quite well. I haven't gone for a full on, full cover coverage with this concealer today. I just wanted sort of a nice light coverage just to even out my skin tone a wee bit and I have actually managed to conceal some of this. It's not as red as it was. There is still something there but the scarring is going away. Uh, I switched this. I was using the Revlon Colorstay which I think is a great foundation but I think it was clogging my skin up a bit whereas this it doesn't clog my skin. It actually helps to heal up my skin and it actually looks I can see the benefit of it and I've only been using it about a week. It's really finely milled powder and you just twist off the top and there's a little plastic uh, sieve at the top and there's wee holes to let out the powder and you just tap that into your lid. With this compared to the original you do really have to buff this into your skin otherwise it can look cakey so you really really have to work it in which is fine because you know it evens it out a lot better and I think it's quite nice, it's quite a nice colour match for my skin as well and it doesn't feel heavy on my skin and generally I just, I enjoy using this foundation. It is a bit of a nightmare because it is loose powder and stuff but you get used to it, it's fine. Um, I'm quite looking forward to their ready foundations when they come out, I think it's pretty soon if they're not already out. So yeah, I'm actually enjoying using this, there's no strong fragrance, it applies really well and definitely try this out if you have oily combination skin this is great. It does last all day. I did recently pop up a picture of me on Instagram. I had been dancing for about the best part of an hour, 40 minutes or so, and my, the rest of me was just really sweaty, which is a bit gross, but this had actually stayed on quite well. You know, my skin was still a bit modified, which is very impressive. You know, it wasn't all glowy. So yeah, it's definitely worth a look. Wears really well. It's on the slightly more expensive range. You know, it's in the 20 to 30 mark, so it is slightly more expensive, but it lasts for ages and yeah, you don't, you know, it's definitely worth the money, I think, in my my opinion. You know, it definitely lasts for a good sort of six months, which is great, if not slightly longer. And it does have an SPF of 15, which is very useful coming into summer and springtime when I'm getting a bit more daylight. So I also picked up the Well Rested Powder, and this again, this is an SPF of 20, and it's an eye brightening powder. And this definitely, definitely brightens around my eyes. I really, really notice it. It lifts everything in that area. And it lasts all day. It doesn't get cakey. I was really, really impressed with this. Um, you get two grams of product. And I'm sure this will last me an absolute age because you only need a small amount. So really, really pleased with that. So yeah, that's everything. So thank you very much for watching. Please like if you like. Please subscribe if you like. And I'll see you in my next video.